As travelers and explorers in one of the world's most beautiful and richest city, it was mesmerizing to see how the future and history is clasped together in Istanbul. We were just awestruck and inspired to see how excellently the archives of Turkey are preserved, from the Roman times of Constantinople, Byzantine Empire, and way before 600 plus years of the Ottoman Empire. This episode is just a glimpse of the unfathomable history Istanbul has to offer, as we toured the Istanbul Archaeological Museum, Arasta Mosaic Museum, and the Tiled Kiosk Museum, Istanbul Archaeology Müzesi, Çinli Köşk, ve Büyük Saray Mosaikleri Müzesi. We were wowed by every single artifact, its importance, and method of preservation. Come along with us in part one of episode four of Istanbul from our eyes, as we tour the museums of Turkey. Let's begin. Starting off early in the morning with our first museum of the day, the Great Palace Mosaic Museum, Büyük Saray Mosaikleri Müzesi. This museum was located close to the Sultanahmet Square in Istanbul at Arasta Bazaar. If you have seen episode 2 of our series Istanbul from our eyes, you would know about the Arasta Bazaar. The bazaar was located where the old palace of Byzantine Empire was and this museum was just a part of that palace. In this museum, it houses mosaics from the Byzantine period unearthed at the site of the Great Palace of Constantinople. It's located underneath the actual ground level, so you really have to take the stairs, go down, and see all of the different tile works and mosaics on the floor. Now, these mosaics and tiles were not just the things that were carried or preserved here. These are act these are actually just placed as they were in the castle. So these are the same floors where the old Roman kings, the Byzantine emperors, used to walk on. So every tile and mosaic piece that was displayed in this museum had different artwork and symbols on it, which I think like had some meaning, but to be honest, what we all just see was like animals and things just eating things. Most of the designs were also disappeared, but it's really uh, amazing to see how it's still so well preserved. And along with it, this was just like the first museum, but in every museum that we saw, there's also a museum shop where you can buy different books and artifacts and little things like that just to keep as a memory. So there were lots of books, keychains, and just tiny things, and also replicas of the design of the things that were placed in the museum, so you can take those. But to be honest, museum shops were extremely expensive. All of the mosaic pieces that were displayed, they were also in tiny card forms to buy as well. The exit of this museum was right in between the Arasta Bazaar, so we walked around there and then after that... Popular simit aldık. Ben çikolata simit aldım. Ve manzaramıza bak. Ne güzel. First museum was kind of really simple, so now it's time to step up our game a little bit because we are now going to the best museum that is in Istanbul. Gülhane'ye yakın bir müzesi var. Orada gidiyoruz. Asandım bu top kapı sarayı ama hayır bu Gülhane. Tamam şimdi içinde gidiyoruz. Biz arkeoloji müzeme gidiyoruz. Az kaldı şimdi oradayız. Top kapının restoration yapıyor. O yüzden bazı yerler kapattı. Bunun için çok iyi uykular şekerim. different routes to the Istanbul Archaeology Müzesi, but we took the one which was near the Topkapı Sarayı and the Gülhane Park, and here I am sneaking through the restoration work and the Topkapı Sarayı. Here we are at the Istanbul Archaeology Müzesi. Now, actually, uh, I don't think I've, we've shared this before. We are going to share this in another video of ours in which we actually get the museum cards. But whenever you get the museum card, you get access to different museums around Istanbul. And along with that, when you get the entry pass to the museum, it's up to you whether you want to take the audio guide as well. Like for us, we did not take the audio guide because we were just reading the significance of every artifact placed in the museum. But in case you are really interested in every single piece that is in the museum, you can get the audio guide which is going to guide you about all of the pieces and artifacts. It's like a handheld uh, headphone with a, along with a remote so you can just put the number of the artifact that you're seeing and it's going to play the significance and the history behind that piece. Anyways, let's start with the Istanbul Archaeology Museum. Here we are inside. As you can see, it has lots of things and we have so much to talk about it. So let's begin. 
This museum is actually a compound of museums which consists of three major sections. So it has the Archaeology Museum, then the Museum of Ancient Orient, and then the Tiled Kiosk Chindikosk Museum. So these are the three separate units which are located in the same garden, and this museum was founded by the Osman Hamdi Bey. This was actually the first regular museum appearing in the history of Ottoman Empire and in Turkey and has about a million artifacts from a variety of cultures brought from imperial lands. As you can see, all of these things, which are, are just not only from the Ottoman Empire or the Roman or the Byzantines, these statues were absolutely huge and they were just like back from the times of BC, which was insane because all of these statues and heads had so much detail and carving and each one of them had like different significance like this one it was called like a god of i think water and they were so giant which left us awestruck thinking how big and tall people in the old times were because these structures were so big and we were just absolutely inspired by it so we completed one section this museum again had another museum shop which had many artifacts of the same statues that were inside the museum so this museum had so many sections so you would enter they were like left and right so you would go there more stairs more sections more rooms and it was just so big we kind of got lost in it but here we are in another section it was the scariest part of this museum we did not even film it that much because as we entered the floor was like glass and there were skeletons under it and it felt like you were walking over them and that was just really scary also trigger warning skip a few seconds if you are scared of skeletons there is a skeleton in a tomb cover from the times of bc that was extremely creepy Anyways, now let's talk a little bit about the establishment of this museum and the founders of it it was founded by osman hamdi bey and he was an Ottoman administrator, intellectual, art expert, and also a prominent and pioneering painter. He was also an accomplished archaeologist and is regarded as the pioneer of the Muslim creators profession in Turkey. He was the founder of this museum and the Istanbul Academy of Fine Arts. As you can see on your screens right now, this museum had different displays and photos throughout on how they showed and visually described how they carried all of these artifacts from all around the world into this simple uh, museum and this building and it's no joke because so so many things that were inside of this museum like all of those from the bc times which were made of marble huge statues they would be so heavy so they're just showing on how much effort archaeologists back then put in to make this whole building and preserve history over here this museum was built uh, by sultan abdul aziz because he was really impressed by the archaeological museums in paris so uh, he visited different museums back in his day and then after that he ordered to establish a similar archaeological museum in Istanbul which is the Istanbul Archaeology Museum. Uh, from this window you can see we are showing the Chinli Kursk, the tiled kiosk which is also a part of this museum which we are going to be touring later in the video. Anyways, before that, let's talk about a little bit more about this museum. It had another section where it had jewelry from the old times and I cannot stress enough on how awestruck and shocked we were to see how perfectly jewelry pieces back from that time are preserved and also most of them were like in trend these days so those jewelry pieces were like so beautiful and actually we just really want to get a few for ourselves because they were so in style these days and we were just amazed on how those people made these jewelry pieces and crowns back in the day with such precision i mean i'm going to show you these lions and this is where we like literally lost it how perfectly they made those details of that lion's mouth and this is all like with pure gold and the display here the lighting everything was just perfect and let alone like statues tombs and jewelries and there were like thousands of coins over here as well and we were just also so shocked to see how perfectly and how did they even like find such tiny coins from different groups like of the Byzantine times, the Roman, everything was just amazing. The more we explored, the more shocked and impressed we got. There are also places to sit and watch visual films and documentaries on this whole museum as well. well.
into another section which had all pottery and old stuff which to be honest at this point we were like three hours in the museum and the more we were just going inside there were more floors more sections and at this point we also kind of got really tired but the the things and the artifacts were just not ending there was just an endless series of so much history we just truly like in turkish we would say here bülendim. i'm not sure the english of it but it just means that we just really got we grew up and we were so impressed by this and i don't even think i can explain on how we were just shocked and impressed i'm just out of words on how amazing this place was and it's just amazing and also in this last section uh, they had like a whole like a theater type where you could sit and watch on how every little pieces and all of these pieces and artifacts were bought here and they also placed the tools archaeologists back then used to find all of this and there were like different stations for different sections as you can see i'm showing all of those to you here so these are all of the tools and things people back then used to preserve the artifacts that are displayed in this museum now and each one of them like had its own significance and explanation written behind every tool so i'm just showing you guys that as it was one of the last rooms in the museum it had just a few chairs and screens displaying and showing different movies as i mentioned earlier like the preservation process of everything and all the machinery they used as well a warning skip the next 10 seconds if you don't want to scare yourself with a skeleton laying down in the ground The Istanbul Archaeology Museum stands out as one of the rare buildings constructed as a museum in that time period in the world. It is one of the most beautiful and splendid examples of neoclassical architecture in Istanbul. The inscription in Ottoman Turkish on the pediments of the gates at the entrance of the museum says Asare Atika Muse of Museum of Antiquities and the Torah on the inscription belongs to Sultan Abdul Hamid II. We are entering the second part of this archaeology museum, the tiled kiosk Chinliköşk, which is a pavilion set within the outer walls of the Topkapi Palace. It was built by the Ottoman Sultan Mehmed II as a pleasure palace or kiosk, and it's located to the most outer parts of the palace, next to the Guhane Park. It's also called glazed kiosk Sırçaköşk. It was used as an imperial museum in Ottoman Turkish called Müze Humayu and in Turkish Imparatorluk Müzesi between 1875 and 1891 and then in 1953 it was opened to public as a museum of Turkish and Islamic art and then later incorporated into the Istanbul Archaeology Museums. This museum had many examples of Iznik tiles and Seljuk pottery but most of the things from this museum were sent to the Istanbul airport for the airport museum display. After long 5-6 hours of touring these museums, we quickly grabbed lunch which were these wet burgers and now I will see you guys with the part 2 of this video next week touring more museums. See you!